What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video we're talking about Material Legends in Revit. Material Legends are an important part in architecture, especially when it comes to sheets and presenting your projects. It's also always useful to have that little Material Legend off to the side that gives the, you know, the reader of the, of, the, of the project or of the plan, it gives them a better idea of what they're looking at and what do the actual materials represent. Uh, the material that are being used in the model. Now, unfortunately, as far as I know, Revit doesn't really have a really nice automated way of representing materials. So we have to use this kind of little workaround to create our material legend. But in the end, the end result works really, really good. So uh, I think it's important to cover this. Uh, now, before I get uh, into that tutorial, I would just like to mention that this is something that they cover in my detailing in Revit course. It's a course that covers pretty much everything you need to know about creating details in Revit and all about detailing your designs, adding that extra depth uh, into your designs, adding that extra detail. So all of the little tips, tricks, uh, functions, uh, settings, and so on, everything that Revit has to offer when it comes to detailing, I cover, it, uh, I cover it in that course. If you want to check it out, it's going to be the first link just below the video. It takes you to my website. There you can check that course out as well as all of my other Revit courses. I have over 100 hours of content there and I'm adding more each month. Also, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. And without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's get started by going here to models, then going to new. And for the template file, I'm just going to be using my architectural design template. Uh, now you can uh, check out my templates on my website, balkanarchitect.com. That's going to be the third link in the description. So check it out if you're interested. Now, as soon as Revit starts up, uh, we have something to decide first before we create our uh, material legend. So when I go here to the view type or to the view tab, uh, we have a couple of view types which we, we can use for creating a material legend. So in theory, we can either use a drafting view or a legend view. They both offer similar functionality. Uh, and the only reason why I prefer to go with the legend view, well, it's a material legend, it's gonna make sense to go with the legend view. But not only that, but uh, also the legend view does have the ability to be placed on uh, multiple sheets. So uh, if you create a, a material legend, you can use it both on, I don't know, like your floor plan as well as your section and so on. So it, it's, it's a useful way to have that, it, it's useful to have that ability to be placed on a multiple uh, multiple sheets. So let's go here to the legend view. Uh, we have a couple of options. I'm just going to go with the regular legend. And then here for the name, uh, we can just call this one a material legend. And for the scale, uh, let's leave it at one to 50, that's okay. And then let's click okay. And this is what we get. So it's completely blank. We're kind of drafting here uh, out of the box. So what I usually like to do, just for kind of for reference, for scale, I like to add some text so just to, to get an understanding of what dimensions we're working with. So I just like to go here to the annotate tab, uh, then go to text, and then we can search the text size. So let's say that we want to use the 2.5 millimeter text. I can just click. And then here I can write up, write out whatever I want. So I can call this material legend. There we go. So this now gives me some idea of uh, uh, what scale we're working with here. Uh, now, if you don't like this being orange, we can switch to something else. Uh, we can try, let's just go with regular Arial. Okay. Uh, so now this giving us the scale, now we can use that just to determine the rest of the material legend. So uh, to create the materials, as I said, it's going to be a sort of a dumb approach. Uh, so it's uh, going to be basically drafting. So what we want to do is go here to the filled region. Now, sometimes it might, might say masking region. So then you just open up the drop menu and you go with fill the region. Now, once you do that, uh, you can just use the simple rectangle tool here and then you simply create a rectangle like so. And now I can just hit the escape key a couple of times, select one of the sides. We can make this, I don't know, like, let's go with 40. 
or we can even go by 50 and then for the height let's go with 30 just to give it a little bit of room then we can select the whole thing and just place it like so there we go perfect and then you have to create the fill region type so what you want to do here is go into edit type you want to select one of the options here so let's go it doesn't really matter which one let's just go here to duplicate and for this one let's say we want to create some concrete so i would simply type in concrete okay and then we can say i don't know like catch hit okay and now it's time to make that pattern so you want to go here to the foreground fill patterns you want to open that up and here I'm just going to set that to some crosshatch let's see and I want this dense diagonal crosshatch 1.5 millimeter click OK and then for the background pattern I'm going to set that one to solid click OK and then the background pattern color I want a really light gray so that's going to give me kind of the concrete effect so when I hit finish, it looks like this. See, we have that little gray and then also we have the lines for concrete. We can turn off the 10 lines and this is what we get. So it looks nice. Okay, so obviously here we can just click, delete this, let's say concrete, or you can say reinforced concrete or whatever. There we go. Uh, you can even add a leader if you want so then it you could like place it like so I don't know if you want uh, I like to use the, 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 the leader heads with these dots that's what I include in my templates but anyways uh, once you have created something that looks like this you want to select that go to copy co is the shortcut and then you just copy it down I don't know let's go down by 60 millimeters just like so okay now we select this and let's say we want to use something else so let's go here into edit type uh, let's duplicate this one and let's call this one I don't know like wood you want to have some wooden elements so for that let's go to the foreground fill pattern hit here edit and then you want to search for some wood let's go with wood I don't know like this oh, this one okay I don't like these wood patterns but anyways uh, you can go here to the background color and now let's find some I don't know like some wood color I don't know what's that like some beige stuff I guess something like that click OK solid fill OK and this is what we get so uh, it might work good you might want to go with the different one I don't know it's really up to you so there we go that looks decent enough and then you just go like that so let's copy it one more time so this one can be oh let me show you the insulation what they like to do uh, so for insulation I'm just going to go to edit type uh, then I'm going to duplicate this one and then let's call this one the insulation patch I hope I spelled that correctly anyways uh, so for this one uh, we don't really have any foreground color so you set that to none and then for the background you leave it at solid fill but you go with yellow or at least I go with yellow you you, you do whatever you want or maybe a little bit orange okay Look okay and it looks like this and then over that you lay out the insulation uh, batting line like so uh, obviously you want to make it larger so I think this was like 30 millimeters so let's try 30 here there we go and then it would look like this obviously uh, now uh, one thing to oh, oh we didn't change this okay <laughs> so this was wood and then this was uh, insulation okay there we go so a a as I was saying uh, uh, one thing to note uh, something that's really important is that as I said this is dumb approach this is a dumb approach what that means is that any any material 
pattern or hatch or legend that you create here you have to modify the existing walls floors roofs uh, materials that you already use you have to modify them to match this or in other words perhaps you want to modify this to match uh, your walls and so on so if I just go here into level one and go to the wall tool uh, let's go with the I don't know like the exterior wall okay so we have the exterior wall here let's go to fine level of detail so if I select this wall and go into edit type here for structure you want to make this main structural material you want to make that concrete obviously let's say for this uh, wall we want concrete there and let's say that you want to use this concrete what you want to make sure is that you go here to the cut pattern and make sure to change that to match what we have so for our concrete we use this diagonal crosshatch and then uh, yeah this was okay and then here we use the solid fill for the background with some really light gray okay apply okay okay apply okay 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 and then this is what that looks like so the idea is once you place this on a sheet so let's crop this there we go so i'm just cropping this and then i'm just going to place it on a sheet so let's go to sheets new sheet let's go with a a3 i think will be enough okay now i can go to my level one and place that here perfect and then next to this i can go to my material legend let's see here we go uh see this template already comes with some legends so you have like a kitchen counter legend with all of the kitchen elements and then you have a, like a furniture legend and then you have a bathroom legend Okay, I'm just selling you the template now. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, where's our sheet? Okay, there we go. So basically you would place this next to each other. So here you have the floor plan and then here you have that material legend. And this is how it's meant to work. So you just place it on the sheet and then it's next to each other. And then when somebody comes in, they can see this, they see this, and then they say, oh, looks like this is uh, concrete. Uh, now, uh, as I said, it's not perfect. It would be ideal if this legend were parametric and then was pooling information from there. But this is what we have for now. So I think it's decent enough for like a quick little uh, uh model i think it does work really good and usually you would have these standardized in your company so that shouldn't be a an issue you just keep your standards your company standards when it comes to uh, uh hatch patterns for your materials anyways that's pretty much it for this little video i hope you have enjoyed it i hope you have learned something new uh please do check out the material uh, or sorry the <laughs> the details in revit course it's available on my website also i have many other courses there's over 105 hours of content there so far and i'm adding more courses over time so perhaps the subscription is the best way to go anyways thank you for watching make sure to subscribe like and share this video and i'll be back soon with another balkan arctic tutorial thank you for watching and have a nice day